This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion 15-8C AC laptop with a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a broken screen on a HP Pavilion 15-AC laptop. A uh, few words before we get started. HP has many flavors of the 15, Pavilion 15 Chromebook. So you have to pay attention to the letters after the dash. So it's this one's 15 dash AC. I will show you where to find those. Um, the other thing is before we um, start with the procedure, we have to remove all sources of power. And for this model, it means removing the battery. So what we do is close the back laptop, flip it on the bottom, and slide the two levers in, and then slide the battery out like so. Once the battery is safe, is removed, this laptop is safe to work on. Okay, next I will show you the part number for this model. It is right on the bottom right, right by the QR code. If you look closely, it says model 15-AC-AC121DX. So the number you have to look at is the 15-AC. If the number or letter after the dash is not AC, then this is not the right model. And the procedure and the screen type will be different. Okay, let's flip the laptop over. And um, this this is a touchscreen model, so this is uh, came out at the end of 2015. And for this particular model, the touchscreen and the LCD are part of the one assembly. Other models have a different uh, layer for the touchscreen, so the touchscreen is a separate part, and the LCD itself is a different part. For this model, it's all one assembly. Okay, next, so let's look at the tools we're going to use for this. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and zero is the screwdriver size. We have a pair of metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws that might be stuck. It can also be used for prying and manipulating cables. We then have a hobby or exacto knife, and that's to lift up adhesive tape in this case. And we have a spudger, a metal spudger, and that's to use to pry things open. Most likely we won't use it in this procedure, but it's part of the toolkit. Okay, the first order of business is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. For this model, it's easy. It's not that hard. So what you want to do is put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently pry up and out and snap the bezel off. And in this way, go around the whole screen like this. And if you get stuck at a point, just keep going and come back to the point at a later stage. So keep going like this. And keep working at this. This one particular model, for some reason, has a loud snap on the bottom. But don't worry, it comes back on fine. It's just a bit louder than usual. Okay, once we remove the screen bezel, we can take a look at the screen assembly. The screen itself is mounted on the back of the screen assembly with four screws. So all you have to do is remove the four screws. The two inner screws here and the two inner screws at the bottom. Not the outer screws, but the inner screws right here. Okay, when we do this part, we want to tilt the screen back a little bit, so when you remove all screws, the screen doesn't just fall forward on you. Okay, and one by one, using the screwdriver, we remove the four screws and put them in a pile for safekeeping. So, one, two, Three, or yeah, three down here. And four. Okay, once we do that, we can gently 
grab the screen by the tabs or maybe even uh, grab it in the middle so it can get a good grip on it and gently lay the screen down like so. Okay, next step is to disconnect this connector at the bottom. We use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up the adhesive tape Lift up just enough of it so you can grab with the fingertips and peel the adhesive tape back like so. And also for some reason they have additional adhesive tape that's attached to the connector so we need to do the same thing for that. Lift up a corner with the hobby knife and then gently peel it back. Looks like it's covering up some sort of sensor on the screen or connection. connection. Okay so once we lift up both pieces of adhesive tape we pull the connector back until it comes out. Before uh, we go any further I'm going to show you how to slide it back in. When you slide it back in just slide it in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Let's get a close-up. Okay, pause the video right here. This is how a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's pull the connector out and let's look at this screen. Okay, like I said before, it's a combination LCD and a touch screen so it has both components included in it and the part number is B156XTK01.0 B156XTK01.0 now this screen looks very similar to the other screens that are non-touch so that's why the part number is for this screen is very important make sure you get the exact part number or a known compatible part number with this model. Okay, um, the part number is what you look up when you order the screen and um, you can order also order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. We guarantee that the screen we'll send you will be compatible. This exact same toolkit that I'm using in this video, it comes for free with the screen we have free priority mail shipping in the United States and a two-year warranty on defects on the screen and free email technical support. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world just for following the normal checkout procedure in our store and just select your country. To order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out which will guide you to buy the right screen online. Okay, once you do get the new screen, uh, compare it to the old screen, make sure it looks like the old screen with the connector in the same place and the mounting tabs and everything else the same. Reconnect the connector as I showed you. Re reapply the adhesive tape on there. Mount the screen inside the screen assembly put the top and the bottom screws in and then snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it you'll be good to go okay uh once again my name is eugene panrutkovich i'm the laptop screen doc and name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck